putting an end to identity politics. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson talking about Saturday Night Live mocking the Democrats. Mocking the Democrats. They pl- I played a clip. They talked about fresh faces, <laughs> fresh ideas, fresh faces, as they showed Einstein, uh, Weinstein, Pelosi, uh, Chuck Schumer, fresh ideas, new leaders. They said Elizabeth Warren, Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders. They talked about we're going to cure the divisiveness. Saturday Night Live even knows that the divisiveness comes from the left. They, and all this is predicated on the fact that the Democrats won two governor's races. And now they're like, "Woo! look at us. We're a big deal. We're coming back. They, two governor's races they were supposed to win and they're back. Then they went on to mock them for saying, yeah, the Democrats have great ideas. Transporting illegals is a new way to, to do jobs. Converting Confederate monuments into monuments honoring lesbian poets is a new one. And also political correctness. They mock that. Folks, these are signs, signs that things are changing. I don't know to what. Alec Baldwin built a second career on Saturday Night Live with his lame butt version of candidate Donald Trump. And regardless of the hack act that he that he did, the fact that Trump got elected president negated any notion of the Dems actual enjoyment of Alex Bald of Alec Baldwin's act. How can you enjoy the act of a guy who you think is never going to be president and suddenly he's president and you got to eat crow. (laughs) I love it. (laughs) But week after week, SNL attempted to lampoon the president and baited him into rants and it didn't work. He would say things like Alec Baldwin, geez, Saturday night lives, you know, that's the best you can do. No, not funny anymore. Donald Trump can laugh at himself. If you want to tell a joke about Trump that makes him laugh, he'll laugh. He's not a, you can tell he's not a guy that's easily amused. But if you want to do something where he legitimately is doing, you know, you want to make fun, I think the guy would have a hearty laugh. That would be my goal is to make the dude laugh. And generally, let me just say this. When Hollywood goes after you the way they've done President Trump, you're doomed. Doesn't matter what you try to do with your president. George Bush, look at Bush. I mean, he is a terrible president, but I'm saying if Bush were performing like Trump today, he would be he would crash and burn because they would lampoon him and he would uh, allow them to buy into it. He wouldn't fight back. He'd try to take supposedly take the high road. We've learned of Bush that he the high road is uh, not exactly as high as he'd like it to be. But he couldn't handle it. So we've got a president now who fights back. And another problem that Hollywood has is we've exposed them. The land of look the other way on Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, and many more to come has now lost its credibility. See, the, the old Hollywood could say something and people would be, like, oh, you, you know, they're stars. We must listen. No, what you see now is ah, it's probably a dude that's going to be in jail in a week for, well, for running a pedophile ring. So now in order to survive, the left is apparently having to make a shift. And I understand the left quite well. You know that in order for them to have made that clip of Saturday, what we just played on the pre, in the previous segment, in order for them to have done that, there has to be a shift in a paradigm somewhere. The Daily Beast reported SNL shifted its attack this week for all the times Donald Trump has criticized Saturday Night Live for being biased against him. He's probably going to have to love the political commercial parody that aired this week. We're back, baby. Cecily Strong's Dianne Feinstein declared in the ad, which also included such elderly party members as congressional leaders Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer and team player in quotes, Donna Brazile. Instead of just focusing on coastal elites, they promised to appeal to mouth breathers in places like Wisconsin. For those of you who didn't catch that, didn't understand what a mouth breather was when we played the clip earlier, well, that's a stupid person. Think about who you're like, breathing through your mouth. 
you know, dummy. So even when they're mocking the Democrats, they managed to get in a slam to the people of Wisconsin. I think they called them mouth breeders, breathers. And then they called the people of Ohio uh, window lickers. So they, you know, they, they can't just let you get away with it pure and simple. They got to get you a little bit. But regardless, they still attack the Democrats. I, I put a tweet out about President uh, Trump and I said this. Um, President Obama, it was something along the lines of this. I'm not exactly sure, but it was something along the lines of President Obama sure knew how to act presidential. President Trump knows how to perform presidential and I was putting that out to all the never Trumpers and the naysayers about President Trump who say things like well you know he's too stupid to do this or he's too that I'm like really so the guy that the Chinese call Uncle Trump and with affection by the way and who the world seems to love is a pariah in his hometown because of the left yeah I think something's happening folks Suddenly, people are beginning to see that maybe Barack Obama wasn't the smart guy that everybody thought he was. President Trump, when he gets things done, it benefits America. And I think the left realizes this. And the fact that SNL turned its questionable wit in the direction of Democrats is significant, if you ask me. I've talked about what President Trump's doing right now, traveling to Asia, trying to get rid of a $547 billion trade imbalance and to put short and fat on notice. That's Kim Jong-un and Saturday night live found nothing to lampoon. Think about it. What a setup. He, he called the leader of North Korea fat in uh, uh, short and fat, <clears throat> excuse me, short and fat. And the left could find no, I mean, that would be normally they'd be talking about how unpresidential that is. And of course, the president couched it in the way of saying, hey, he called me old and I wouldn't dare call him short and fat, which, of course, is him calling him short and fat. And the left knows this. It's ripe for comedic humor. And none of them took it. I haven't seen him. That's the biggest complaint by the left. He's not presidential. He's a terrible person. He's not. Yet. OK, he may be all that, but you didn't say anything about him. Saturday Night Live, who's been spending week after week with Alec Baldwin lampooning the guy. He's not presidential. Look, he called him short and fat. And they didn't say anything. I'm just wondering what's up. I mean, instead, Saturday Night Live lampooned the new, very old version of the Democrats. How is that even possible? Do you have any idea the level of permission Saturday Night Live comedians need to dump on the Democrats instead of dumping on Trump, that goes all the way up to Obama. <laughs> and speaking of him, what influence does the deep state swamp rat of Obama, what does he wield over the American public, the American politics anymore? I say Obama is as relevant as the average D.C. cabbie. His opinions mean nothing. For the guy who set up shop in D.C., Hired Valerie Jarrett to head his new operation, his anti-Trump operation. What do they have to show for it? They have a busted investigation, a, f- a flawed busted investigation around the, around the Russians. And President Trump, every single day, exposes Obama as the biggest fraud perpetrated to on American society since Social Security. And for doubters, remember what Obama said that Trump was going to need a magic wand for carrier? Do I need to remind you? That was just the beginning of the embarrassment of of Barack Obama by President Trump. The economy soars, record breaking stock market. How many numbers or how many records have we broken now? Like 54, 55? Lowest unemployment rate in decades. Soaring computer confidence. America will have its AAA bond back within a year. We will have more money circulating through this economy. We have the biggest GDP growth in the first two quarters. Barack Obama never got to three in GDP growth. They're talking about four and five, and Trump's done it twice. GDP growth twice over three. What are you talking about? I know what I'm talking about. So when Barack Obama had the nerve to call Trump a BSer, 
a while back. You remember that? Called him a BSer. Well, we know who the BSers are. Look, I don't care. You, you look, go connect the dots. Go look at the people that were anti Trump and see where they are now. And then remember Saturday Night Live, who's been lampooning Trump week after week, month after month, just went after the Democrats. I got to leave it there. He won't stop until he's the top rated radio talk show host in America. What kind of weird competitive freak are you? This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.